Hey, I'm Ryan with One of the Discovers, and today I'm going to show you my installation and walkthrough of the Ubiquiti's SolarPoint SMSP40. Now, I did an unboxing video for this previously, and now I'm setting this product up and setting it up in my shed where I'm going to be utilizing solar capability in there. I'll have the video split up into different sections so you can jump around and see what could be helpful for you. Otherwise, I'll see you after the walkthrough. We have the SunMax here, we have a Unify AP, so this is going to be the shelf where I'm going to put the batteries as well as hook up the Sun Max. So these two cables will hook directly into the Sun Max. First we have the back of the mount here, which these two go on together. And you put one of these in this back side and you put the other screw on this side. Now that that's together, we can put this on the wall, which has a bubble level, and then this just slides on this back piece. Now I have it mounted and ready to be hooked up and it can easily be taken off and put the wires through here and the ethernet through here. I set up this piece of wood to mount all the electronics. For the purposes of this video, I'm just gonna show you how I hooked up the solar point and I'm gonna expand on this in the shed because I'm gonna add an inverter and accessories and everything like that. But let me just walk you through how this solar is gonna be hooked up. So I finally have my two batteries fully charged because it's good to charge them to full, especially since they're gonna be in series. You wanna have them basically linked in terms of battery charge. Once those are up on the shelf here, I'm gonna hook up this bus bar, which is basically just an extension of that negative terminal to the negative battery. And then I'm gonna hook up this positive cable to the positive part of the battery. And this is just gonna go through 150 amp fuse. Obviously you don't need that for the Sun Max, but it's gonna basically be an extension of that positive terminal here. So looking at the Sun Max, you have this connector that you can take out and you have a positive, a negative, and a negative, and another negative. Now I have the positive running to this bus bar. And then I have the other negative running to this bus bar. And then they have an NTC double negative wire that's a that has a thermistor in it and this actually should go directly on the battery so i'm going to connect this directly to where my other terminal goes rather than the bus bar because of the thermistor and measuring the temperature so that is the basic setup that i'm going to use so i got the batteries up on the shelf and then i just have a two gauge wire connecting them in series and then i'll tighten these down i move my plywood up here and the main reason I have it on this is so that I can take it down and make adjustments as needed. Next I'll connect this to the negative terminal in the second battery and then I have this convenient battery switch here where you can actually turn this to turn on and off the positive. So I'm going to connect that two gauge right up to that positive. Okay I have the positive hooked up here. Thankfully it's going to nicely go upside down and the negative here. I did not realize that this wouldn't be able to fit on this terminal, which is unfortunate. So I'll have to get some, some sort of just close adapter here. For now, just to get it working, I'm gonna just attach it to the negative bus bar, just like the negative for the Sun Max. So I tightened down the terminals on here. And here we have all the wires, the low voltage wires going to the Sun Max, and then our solar panel connectors. And I'll just tidy this up over here a little bit and plug in the solar connectors. I'll have to shorten up some of these wires. I just left it long just because I want to get it working. But low voltage is connected, the solar cables are connected, panel is closed, and let's go ahead and turn it on. And the power is online. Added a couple zip ties for now just to make it look a little neater tie this up on the wall and now I'm gonna add this AP that I had just an extra one so we can connect to my home network so I have my access point hooked up to PoE 1 no lights are on it didn't automatically come on but if you know if you connect to the Wi-Fi and then connect to the IP there's actually a setup that the UISP mobile app does not provide so you can actually enable and disable the 24 volts and the PoE that you need to output. So we're going to go ahead and enable 
that. And now that that's enabled, the light came on for Ethernet 1. After this, we set up the battery settings. So I'm going to go ahead and fill out the capacity of 100 amp hours. And for the battery charging target, you get a few selections here. And based on my research, I'm going to select 28.2 volts for my two batteries that are connected in series. Next is going to go ahead and ask me the solar panel settings, total wattage. I have two 100 watt panels connected in series. And so I'm going to select 200. Now it did ask me for the solar map, but it doesn't have any internet. So we went ahead and skipped that and the system setup is complete. Again, I couldn't do this on the mobile app. So you can see the access point is powering up and the light for Ethernet 1 is on. And we'll go ahead and see if I can get this connected to the home network. So I have that access point meshing to the house connected to the solar point and it is active on the ethernet and just added a few little cables here to tidy up over here and we'll do some additions for another video but this is all connected and hooked up now now basically what's happening is the access point that i have hooked up to this is meshing to the other access points that i have at home in particular one so i'll show you a few screenshots here that basically once it was powered up it popped up in my Unify app, enabled meshing for all access points, so I'll probably disable the ones that don't need it and just enable the one that does need it. But now I could configure the access point through Unify and then can access the solar point content and then solar point itself out here does have internet and can provide internet to cameras or whatever power over ethernet you'd like to connect up. In the future, I would like to swap out this access point to something more direct so it has way better signal. For now, this mesh is kind of poor, but it gets the job done. So just to show you after I had that all installed, what the actual site looks like once it's up and running, as it's been running for a little while now, initially when I set it up, everything was sort of red and the battery didn't seem confident about the battery level. So now that it's sort of analyzed that, you can see this is the, the screen. Unfortunately, you can't get to most of this information through the mobile app which is unfortunate but once you're on and connected to the solar point so you can see the forecast data once you give it your location and you can scroll through and see the expected minimum capacity based on its current power consumption you can see all the information on the discharged charged all the poe and dc output as well as the ip address and all the firmware things like that if you go over to settings you can change all the solar panel information shutdown voltage, high priority and low priority voltages, battery charging targets, as well as in here in the output, you can actually change each PoE like we did in the setup. However, you can actually prioritize which one to actually utilize based on the voltage and the, in the power tab, as well as you can disable or enable the wireless radio. I disabled it once it got set up and I can access it from the home network. Specific network settings that you'd like to set and then of course the system settings where you can change the name, the login, crash reports. You can connect it to UISP, which is a paid service that I don't have. One useful thing I do really like is that you can enable SNMP and shout out to Gus over on Pi My Life Up. He got me set up with connecting Home Assistant with everything you need to connect to the SunMax. And now that I set up the connection with SNMP to the solar point, I can actually monitor this more than I could on the UISP mobile app. And in here, I just have a few values. I think it gives you like eight different values you can connect to, but you can see here, I have my panel power and I can scroll through at specific points throughout the day to see how much the panel is producing, the load power, to see how much load the current solar point is actually utilizing, charging temperature out there, and then the solar point energy that it's generated over time. So just an example of what you can utilize with the SNMP capability. So I hope this video helped. Unfortunately, it seems like a lowly supported product by Ubiquiti. It's not really on the Unify line, it's more on the UISP line. I could only power up 24 volt access points with it, so I could only use older access points. So the Unify AP that I've connected isn't actually officially supported. It's just utilizing it in mesh. You can see with the screenshots I linked earlier that basically once you power up the AP, you can get connected to 
the home network from that way. Newer access points and newer cameras utilize 48 volts that they produce. So I'll have to look into alternatives if I wanna use something newer, but for the time being, I can just utilize it as a network switch and an MPPT solar charge controller, which was my original intention anyway. So let me know if you have any questions and thanks for watching.